right, boys and girls, here we go. Boom. Hello. Hello, welcome back to the Origin of the Weekly Writing Web Show. My name is Friday, this is my show. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Exciting news. Uh, I have changed my camera setup a little bit here. So, uh, yeah. You're going to see some differences with the way that the, all this is set up. It's a little fuzzy right now. Let's see if I can... Uh... Volume super low? That's really odd. Let me take a look at it real quick. My Yeti. Yes. <laughs> uh, how's it now? Is it better now? Is it worse? Is my night my mic being completely ridiculous? Like what's going on? Should be uh How about now? How's it sound? Or worse, man, these headphones are literally falling apart. <laughs> I'm gonna have to retire these bad boys soon, they're getting a little much. No chain. now I don't know what's changed <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out welcome to twitch where the start of every show or the stream of every game in game involves redoing every setting ever Thing, that thing was awesome. My brother gave it to me for Christmas. It's like a <laughs> I'm a 
Something's kind of blue. It's weird. Yeah, well, I know it's going to be kind of blurry because this screen should be not so blurry. It is kind of blue still, though. Definitely blue. The white balance is just off. Got the door open. Let's go with that. That's better. All right. We're going to go with that. My light, my light palette's gonna like be a little too bright at the moment. It's fine. It's all working. <laughs> That's what's important. Anyway, so I changed my camera setup because I wanted to be able to do this. Check this out. This is my new micro desk. I just got it this week. It's like this cool plastic thing. It's designed to go between your keyboard and your your monitor, uh, so that you don't have to like look straight down all the time. But it's perfect for doing editing and like all that kind of stuff. I threw down this. Uh, these are the thumbnails from last week's Fear the Siren issue. <laughs> uh, so you can totally see them on here. And so I'm going to be using this a lot more during uh, during the stream. So you can kind of see what, what's going on, what I'm doing. this aside for now
So, got all that stuff out of the way. <laughs> got all that stuff out of the way. So, what are we going to be doing today? Today, we are going to be working on a weird experiment I came up with last night while watching a uh, Warhammer 40k tournament <laughs> with Sam online. Uh, so, what we're going to be doing today is... Bum, ba, da, ba. This weird Games Workshop inspired world building exercise. So, like, when I was watching the game last night, uh, they made a lot of changes to the 40k rules in the recent years, uh, recent editions, that allowed you to uh, create a lot of different types of teams. So you weren't you weren't like sort of stuck in just a single faction in the same way. Uh, yeah, so you, <laughs> yeah, so you create these, like, these, like, different types of teams that were more mixes of the different factions, so you weren't stuck in sort of very, very rigid roles of, like, what people could do. The, the benefit to this is that you can make these really weird sort of teams in terms of the lore, in terms of the, the, the narrative aspect of the game. And I was sitting there thinking, oh man, like we should, like there's all these crazy teams, we should do these things. And uh, I came kind of came up with this weird exercise where what we would do is we would take a list of factions from Warhammer, uh, and I'm going to break this down a little bit in, in a second, and, and sort of mix them up and toss them together randomly and see if we can create some world build, like build this cool other world with mixes of these sort of tropes and ideas that, that come from Warhammer. Um, I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it'll be interesting, but we'll see. We'll see. It'll be a fun experiment. Uh, and that's what this week is kind of going to be about. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing a different experiment. I'm not entirely sure what it'll be yet. But it will be an experiment that we'll be streaming tomorrow as well, uh, for those who were not aware. Um, what else? What else did I want to talk about? Yeah, uh, so this is the list here. I've created it. Uh, me and Sam worked on this last night. Uh, so we got Warhammer 40k, we got the different... Uh, so these are the current armies as broken down by them, and I do have a window open. So I'll be able to pull up some images and sort of give people idea of what these different groups look like. Um, we got our old sort of older school style, like Space Marine chapters, Imperial Guard groups, stuff like that. Chaos Space Marines. Uh, we got our Warhammer Fantasy with the current groups, uh, and then the old school, like much, much less concentrated groups. It's a it's a big list. And we got The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, which War Games Workshop also makes a gaming version of, and I decided to throw in there just to give it a little bit more of a traditional flavor. Uh, so those are in there as well. Uh, that's the last page of the list. This is just like a one without the, the, the titles so that I could copy and paste it really easily. And that's the same as what I have on my desk here. I have a, a physical copy just for me. Same list. That's all we got going on here. So yeah, that's that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I found a generator that does like is designed for like making tournament teams, and I decided that this is the easiest way to do this. I couldn't find anything that was a little bit more specific to my need without having to code it myself, and I didn't really feel like doing that last night at like midnight. <laughs> Uh, so we have this. But this does the job pretty well. Uh, the rules I'm going to stipulate for this are that uh, this is going to give me groups of four. I'm going to choose three of the four to make my new fantasy race slash team slash culture, however you want to describe it. Uh, fantasy, I'm not sure. It might be a little sci-fi. We'll, we'll see. We'll play with it. Uh, I might do both. Maybe I should try and specifically do both. 
do a sci-fi version and a fantasy version and see if they'll be different or the same or whatnot, you know? Uh, yeah, that's totally an option as well. But yeah, so it's going to give me groups of four off the list. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's, let, let's just see what, let's just see what happens. So I should have 16 groups, yes. Uh, copy and paste these groups into my Fiber file here. Because they're linked in it. Yeah. Okay. That's what I meant by that. <laughs> Let's make this actually readable on Steam. That would be that would be good. Do the old fashioned way, I guess.
this thing longer than expected. I didn't realize I would have to uh, <laughs> touch bases like this. Okay, there we go. We got 16 groups. All right, cool. Look good. Okay, now we so we can see them. So this probably looks pretty weird in general, but this is the basic, basic, basic of world building where, you know, we're, we're, we're expanding out from a concept. We're trying to, to build at nothing, right? Let's get some photos and stuff. What do I want?
does the old lady have? Probably should have kept it. Give us some background info. Opening up like a billion windows, looking around for stuff. Um, where are the Adeptus Arbites then? What, uh, what section are they in? Are they not Space Marines? Okay, cool. I just didn't know.
<laughs> yeah. Little known fact, Games Workshop is actually British. And so 2000 AD, which is also British, and totally a thing. Basically walking skeletons with ziggurats. trying to cr cr correct my pronunciation because you know it'll never work This is from the new list, isn't it? Uh, and a lions. Wait, what the fuck is Did that happen to Hopper? Oh, it is. Faction with literally one woman in it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, my bad. Oh, RPTs? Like Archimedes? Images don't work very well on this.
to define this group. Police force. Judge Dredd. Police force, Judge Dredd. Con light infantry. And uh last of their kind. Living skeletons. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Gaunt is like such a living legend in that lore, right? Like, he, he's all over the place all the time. Pull up some info. Oh, that's a neat story. Apparently, Games Workshop created two miniatures of Peter Jackson as a hobbit from Bree. One is owned by Peter Jackson, the other is kept on display at VW headquarters in England. That's pretty funny. Trolls. Some sort of Bonds, I guess. I 
I mean, probably. Apparently they, they did make a toy of it. <laughs> Made by Toy Biz, created by Max, which is not Max. This guy looks awesome. What kind of culture do we want to create with this? Like, what are we trying to create? <laughs> well, the heavy metal team are the best. some sort of transient people. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, I think the last of the kind thing resonates pretty well with a lot of it as well. Um,
I kind of feel like I should cut out the Necrons. Uh, I find Necrons a little bit too distinctive. So I can cut out those two, probably. So we're looking at some sort of... Well, let's think about this for a bit. So we got trolls, we got vagabonds, uh, we got our Judge Dread top. So, uh, we're going to say some sort of vehicle group, I guess. I think I'm going to define this setting as a post-apocalyptic fantasy setting. So, a setting that would be... It's got some science fiction elements, some Mad Max style elements, but also has things like magic and, and all that, where you kind of have a mix of the two. And technology is kind of free-roaming between stuff that survived and stuff that... Uh, from the past that has kind of been redone. So in this setting, I think what we're gonna have is, cause that's the cool thing about Judge Dredd, right? Judge Dredd is all about the motorbike. So we're gonna say biker gang. We're gonna go. Biker gang, the police at night, uh, taking from your third stone trolls, nocturnal sort of style creatures.
think that's a pretty good description of who these people are. Seven names. What should we name them? Should we name these people? here. Come back to to naming them, I think. Uh, but first off, I am going to take a break. We're going to keep going on this and just work our way through it. See if we can get all 16 done. See if we can use these ideas to create a sort of setting, a area where these are cultures exist. And maybe that'll be the basis for something else I do. Uh, but for now, we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will see you all in 15 minutes. 